हेलो डियर किड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर टेन फ्रॉम योर आई जी के ओलम्पियाड वर्क बुक एंड चैप्टर नेम इज लाइफ स्किल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मॉरल वैल्यूज डिसिप्लिन एंड गुड हैबिट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन वन इज सेलेक्ट द इन करेक्ट मैच दीज आर द रोड साइड सिग्नल एंड ऑप्शन ए इज This is the signal of school ahead. Yes, this is the correct signal. Option B is U turn prohibited. No, this is wrong. This is the signal of no entry. And for U turn prohibited signal is like this. This is the signal of U turn prohibited. Option three is roundabout, and this is correct op signal. and option 4 is man at work and this is also correct so incorrect match is option b next question is which of the following is not a good habit option a saying sorry when you make a mistake option b covering your mouth while yawning option c entering any closed door without knocking and option d greeting elders with respect look at all the option for first one yes we need to say sorry if we do some mistake this is not bad option b covering our mouth while yawning yes this is also very good habit option c entering any closed door this is very bad this is not a good habit if someone's closed door is closed we should knock the door without entering directly so option c is not a good habit and option 4 greeting elders with respect yes this is very good habit we should always greet when we meet with our elders so not good habit is option c next question is you are in a shop the sales person is persuading you to buy a book that you do not need what will you do option a ignore him no this is not good that someone is saying you uh, something and you are ignoring him this is not good option b politely say that you do not need it yes this is the right answer we should politely say that i don't need this thank you option c shout at him for disturbing you no this is very wrong we should not shout on anyone option d buy the book no why to waste money if you don't need this book so right answer is politely say that you do not need it and option b is right answer next question is while having your dinner something gets stuck in your teeth what should you do option a is use a toothpick at the table to remove it no this is very ha bad habit we should not open our mouth in front of anyone option b use your finger to remove it no this is also wrong we can't remove it from our finger option c use your napkin to remove it no this is also not good option d excuse yourself and then go to the restroom to remove it yes this is the correct answer we should excuse and then go to restroom and then we should remove it option d is right answer next question is you are reading a story book at night and your sibling lying beside you want to sleep what will you do option a you will switch off the light and go to sleep yes this is very right answer that if a sibling beside you want to sleep then you should not disturb his sleep and you should also go to sleep option b you will ignore him and continue reading no this is wrong you will tell him her to get out of the room this is very wrong option d you will shout at him and her for disturbing you no we never shout on our siblings we should love them So option A is the correct answer you will switch off the lights and go to sleep Next question is which of the following proverbs emphasizes the importance of teamwork So we should find which is the meaning the emphasizes the importance of
टीम वर्क ऑप्शन ए इज अ स्टिच इन टाइम सेव्स नाइन इट मीन्स इट इज बैटर टू डील विद प्रॉब्लम राइट अवे रादर देन वेटिंग अंटिल इट गेट वर्स सो दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन बी गोड हेल्प दोज हु हेल्प दैम सेल्वस इट मीन्स पीपल हु वर्क ऑन देयर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड नेवर कस देयर बैड लक सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट आंसर फॉर दिस प्रोवर्ब ऑप्शन सी मैनी हैंड मेक लाइट वर्क येस दिस इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन दैट मैनी हैंड मेक लाइट वर्क इट मीन्स टीम वर्क इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट एम्फेस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टीम वर्क ऑप्शन डी इट्स बैटर टू गिव दैन टू रिसीव इट मीन्स गिविंग रिलीज फ्रॉम द आइसोलेट टू सेल्फ बिकॉज इफ वी टेक फ्रॉम समन इट प्राइवेटाइज सो इट इज बैटर टू गिव दैन टू रिसीव सो राइट आंसर फॉर आर क्वेश्चन इज एम्फेस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टीम वर्क इज मैनी हैंड्स मेक लाइट वर्क नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू आर प्लेइंग विद योर फ्रेंड्स इन द गार्डन ऑफ योर बिल्डिंग एंड यू सी एन ओल्ड लेडी हु इज योर नेबर क्लाइमिंग द स्टेयर्स विद अ हैवी बैग वट विल यू डू ऑप्शन ए मेक फन ऑफ हर इज इट नो दिस इज वेरी रोंग वी शुड नॉट मेक फन ऑफ आर एल्डर्स ऑप्शन बी इज कंटिन्यू टू प्ले एज यू आर इन द मिडल ऑफ द गेम no this is also wrong we should help elders option c help her in climbing by sharing her load yes this is correct we should share their load and then help her in climbing option d ignore her as she is a stranger no this is very bad even we should help the strangers also if they are elders and they are and they are in tough condition so right answer for this question is option c next question is surbhi take part in poem recitation competition in school she loads the competition to shweta what would she do option a she would envy shweta no why she should not envy shweta option b she should accept it positively as everyone cannot win a contest yes this is the right answer everyone cannot win any contest so one should be winner and other should be loser so she should accept it option b is correct answer option c she should blame the judges of for being partial no they gives very genuine result always option d she should steal the trophy from shweta no this is very bad the right answer is she should accept it positively as everyone cannot win a contest option b is right answer next question is you your friend has been bullied by a group of students in a school what will you do a you will stay quiet and hope the issue goes away on its own no this is wrong we we should never stay quiet when we say someone is bullied by anyone else option b you will get into physical fight with them no we should not be part of that you will join them no we can't join them option d you will report the problem to the principal class teacher yes this is correct we should report the problem to our principal or our class teacher or a coordinator of the school but we should not join it we should not do physical fight and we should not be quiet also so right answer for this question is option d question 10 is while presenting a poem in the class you should note option a speak slowly and clearly yes this is right when we recite a poem we should speak slowly and clearly option b exhibit confidence yes we should be confident option c chew gum no this is wrong if you are chewing gum then how can you speak slowly and clearly option d make eye contact with the audience yes this is correct which when we deliver any speech any poem anything we should make eye contact with our audience so wrong answer or we should not do this this is option c chewing gum so kids here we learn about chapter life skill repeat this video 
and learn all the chapter and all the questions and their options also if you like this video please like share and subscribe my youtube channel kvs coach and don't forget to press bell icon to get notification for each new video thank you bye bye